Welcome back to Stellaris Federations. Keep mixing those up with one another. Um, we are at the exact spot where we ended the last episode. So uh, let's just move on. Last thing we noticed was this Gaia planet up there. Which of course I do not expect that we will ever get our hands upon unless we either go to war or pay exorbitant amounts of money to uh, buy systems up that way. Upscaling complete. Okay. Foreign market leaders request contact. After successfully translating their language, we have established communications with the Badamian Compact. Diplomatic channels are now, op now open and all hostilities have been terminated. And we gained 48 influence from that, which is good. Jeesh, we have found xenophobic isolationists. That's just brilliant. Fanatic pacifist? Xenophobic pacifist empire. Well, okay, I, I can live with that. Praise the divine for this meeting. The news that we have encountered intelligent alien life for the first time has been received with mixed feelings by our populace. This confirms what we have long suspected. We are not alone in this galaxy. Each new alien species we encounter represents both an opportunity and a threat. We must be wary. These particular Xenos have a level of technology similar to our own, indicating that we achieved spaceflight at roughly the same time. This changes everything. Well, they're that far up. We might actually get the Gaia world then. Go on, move up there. Future market yeah. survey complete. Special project completed. Science Officer Prongs has managed to partially translate the alien mural discovered on Elmosataogu 1A. The text contains a staggering amount of data, and the mural evidently serves as some sort of low-tech library. It describes in broad terms the collected technological knowledge of an alien civilization that dominated this region of the galaxy some 80 million years ago. A lot of it is already known to us, but the data contains the data does contain several promising leads for technologies we had yet to consider. There is enough data here to keep our scientists busy for decades, but we will need an orbital research facility to continue the translation trans translation efforts. Plus two of every science thing to the moon and 200 experience for prongs excellent let's pause real quick you can move on down there and you can continue that way this is one of the things that i like with the no clustered starts it's a fair distance between there's probably one here there should be one here somewhere and i'll guessing there would be one here somewhere that so we have ample room for expansion whereas with the defaults we would probably have one here and we would have one in here and we would have one here so it would be like oh this is cramped i don't really like that evading competitive fleet spaceborne amoeba hunters okay Well, that's going to make it even easier to get the Gaia world. We apologize, patron Caledon. We have sadly reached something of a creative roadblock. The Enclave is in disarray and we have nothing to offer at this time. We thank you for your patronage, as always. Can demand a refund. That will uh, not be a good idea, so let's just hope that the situation improves, which gives us some more opinion. Does that change the... No, we still have the Patron of the Art, so... A system has been surveyed. Good. Dick. <laughs> Funny name. Um, I want to change the advisor voice now. Uh... The blind masses must be led down the path not. of reason. Hyperdrive. The diplomat. Thank you. You're not doing anything, are you? I want you to go up there, but we need more alloys. But 
We are kind of swamped in food. That's not a big problem. A new world has been colonized. Good. Church of the Octopus is complete. Let's do the same here. One mining district, one generator district, and one city district. That was a serious dent in our minerals, but it's worth it. Uh, how about you go up there? We have detected an anomaly. Uh, spacecraft remains. Salnilana has found that in Polban Curve 5. Bits and pieces of metal are strewn across CP 01728 surface, encircling what looks to be the hulk of a ship. The wreckage appears deserted, but energy readings remain. Let's research that. Okay, now I'm going to do one of the things that is new in this expansion. As you can see, these guys closed our borders quite quickly with us. They are isolationists, which means that they are not very fond of having uh, us, us as a neighbor. Uh, they wish to be left alone. They are also overwhelming. But we have envoys, and none of those have been assigned. The one we have hasn't been assigned. So we can either do improve relations, or we can do harm relations. Now, I don't want to have a bad... Um, Relationship with inward perfection? A very surprising uh, civic for an AI to take. I like this uh, the mod that uh, removes the uh, bias on the buses. Anyways, let's send our envoy, Deseb, to uh, the Pandamian Compact to uh, improve our relationship with That should give us plus one month, please. Eventually, maybe they will reopen the borders, but it'll take a long time. Construction completed. Good. Now can we move on to touch? Anomalous readings registered. L Rider has found an unscannable object. An object that reflects our sensors has been located in the Efrov asteroid field near BK5-1000. Visual observation has identified the object as polygonal in shape, but due to lack of scanner data, little else is known. And please. Lego brick. Construction is gone. Funny icon. Uh, quickly show something here. When it comes to the policies, not the edict, the policies. In the mercantile stance, we get 25% diplomatic weight from economy, 10% trade value, and plus 5 trade protection. Now, if we were to change that to cooperative, uh, we get 25% diplomatic weight, period. We also get plus 50% bonus to Envoy Improved Relations, and we get minus 50% to Border Friction, which is a very uh, nice uh, um, bonus. So I'm actually, even though we are a mega corporation, I might change the cooperative depending on our neighbors, because I don't want Border Friction issue, and while getting diplomatic weight for economy is good, it's better to get flat out 25% bonus to all diplomats and also the envoy improved relations bonus very nice but that's for a future consideration found a new archaeological site where in Rulan stranded scientist the wreckage on the asteroid CP 01728 is the remains of a vessel belonging to a now stranded scientist Arb. Identifying herself as belonging to the hitherto unknown Suganu species. From amidst the wreckage, she somehow managed to contact Alnilana, the science officer stationed aboard the CTF Sabachtoxa, requesting to be rescued. She explains that her collision was due to malfunctioning navigational sensors and that she has been unable to leave the asteroid for several years. She claims her scientific knowledge will be she claims her scientific knowledge to be without equal and that she would be a valuable asset. 
He points to her survival as proof of... Let's uh, allow her to join our cause. Uh, brings to the table. She's a genius. That's very interesting. She's also level 6. And she's a mere 32 years old. Okay, your own, you are being replaced. And Kelsey, I am afraid to uh, tell you that you are also being replaced with your own. Now, we have a genius and we have two maniacal scientists. Probably should fire. Oh, that's probably should fire a spare research. Level three. Have anyone who lower level than yes, L Rider. Forty five years old compared to sixty two. I'm sorry, Kelsey, but you'll have to go. Rest assured, you will return at some point. That I'm quite certain. Didn't make that big of a name list, so. Puzzling Polygon. The CTF Kthunagua crew has recovered the reflective polygonal object near BK51000, bringing it on board for detailed study. That doesn't seem too wise in my opinion, but okay. The object's most intriguing quality is its ability to reflect most types of low-frequency energy beams directed toward it. High-frequency energy beams, however, remain unaffected, making the object's properties useless with regards to any potential fleet defense applications. Despite extensive examination, the CTF Kuthunagua research team has been unable to determine the function or origin of this peculiar polygon. It appears to be hollow, but its metaboid surface is engraved with some kind of scientific notation. Though the full meaning of this codified data eludes us, L. Rider believes it's related to wormhole metrics. Our research team was able to glean some fascinating insights into wormhole theory by studying these notations. Whatever purpose this object was created for, however, is still a mystery. 250 physics research gained. I hope I haven't forgotten any special problems. System survey concluded. I haven't. Alilana is done in Pol Polvan Kerr. Send her on there. And the recent scientist edition Carb has put her knowledge to the knowledge of technology to good use. Her shared insights have pushed our physics research to new heights. Our research into physics technologies is further. Knowledge is the key to the universe. Ice. Ah. Crap. They expanded. Our science ship is now out of commission for one year. Almost. Synchronized defenses, 15,000? Wow. Unlock Starbase building, defense grid supercomputer, aligning defensive and offensive weapon execution paradigms allows for increased efficiency. That's rather nice. And we also get the automated exploration protocols, which gives us plus 25% survey speed and automatic exploration. I might use that at some point, but not yet. An advanced AI will aid science officers in their task to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new life and new civilizations, to boldly go where no Blorg has gone before. The science ship will be able to explore the galaxy with help from an AI. Should still be researching though, because those were just bonus technologies. But I do like that we got a fifteen thousand value uh, technology from System that. System survey concluded. You were done. Sent you down there. Let's let the month change. There we go, and see how that affected our. Yeah, that technology level is inferior compared to ours. As expected, that is a... System survey concluded. 
think it's a third tier technology? Maybe fourth tier. Anomalous readings registered. Odd readings. While scanning the asteroid belt, our science team found some sort of irregularity. That's hard. Let's just leave it alone. Only Lana can take it on her way out. Construction completed. Good. Can we move on? We lack alloys. Construction completed. Alloys we can get from the market, though. So, I think we can sell off some humor goods as well. You move on to Eurotia. You build those mining stations. Beach 24 to be massive. Anything else? No. Oh. Federal Unity Movement is not happy with us currently. Extra national authority. They want us to vassalize these guys up here. I think that's going to happen anytime soon though. Julie Fisher has leveled up. Research concluded. L Rider found a promising moon. One of the small moonlets orbiting this gas giant has been identified as a promising mining site. A more thorough survey will have to be conducted to determine whether a mining operation would be feasible or not. We've also completed the research into fusion reactors. Good. Nuclear fusion processes generate a great amount of power for ships, but without many of the risks associated with fission power. How long is this going to take us? 44 months. Let's get the um, improved deflectors, and it's also time to redo some ship design here. Normally I would go with a missile boat, but in this case I think we'll go with an interceptor, where we have two coil guns and one red laser. Don't want a reactor boost. Uh, let's have two armors, deflector, but these are good. This will be a core, rodge, laser, and save. Then we'll go into the ship designer and delete this design. And now we can upgrade these and they will become the new design. Makes me curious if the amoebas move out again. Anomalous readings registered. Prongs found a strange mountain formation. Efforts to map the surface of this moon have identified a strange mountain formation in the southern hemisphere. It does not appear to have formed naturally. Let's research that. Knowledge is the key to the universe. We have finished the research into genome mapping. Plus 10% pop growth speed. Excellent. Mapping the genome of an individual through the sequencing of their DNA opens up for tailored me medical treatments and therapies. Um, let's get the selective foliants. Foliants. Anomalous readings registered. Anelana found a surface beacon. We are receiving a weak signal from the surface of this planet. The source appears to be some kind of tracking beacon. Search that. Precious moon. 
A more detailed scan of one of the many natural satellites orbiting the gas giant Ephra 4 has revealed a deposit of precious metals and minerals that was overlooked in the initial survey. Although the moon is very small, it has a stable orbit around its primary and appears tectonically stable. Plus three energy currents to Ephra 4. System survey concluded. Good, move on down there. Construction completed. Yeah, now we need more influence. Ancient survey marker. A small short-range transmitter has been located on the surface of Mug 1. It appears to be an ancient survey marker placed here eons ago to mark a large deposit of precious metals. The miners it was meant for evidently never arrived, as the deposit is still here. Plus four minerals to Mug 1. Spill the mining stations here. Gigantic skeleton. What was previously thought to be assorted mountains in the southern hemisphere of Aroara 1b have been identified as the massive skeletal remains of a single colossal alien life form. The bones have been dated as 3.4 billion years old, but our scientists have ruled out that Aro Aroara 1b could have supported life on that scale at any point in the moon's history. Science Officer Prongs has prepared a special research project to delve further into this mystery. Situation log has been updated. This guy is done. Let's move him out. System survey concluded. No reason to move up there, so let's just move out there. Jordan Smith found an asteroid in orbit. Class 12 asteroid orbits this planet. The small planetoid's orbit appears far too stable for its presence to be a natural occurrence. Watch that, please. And we will soon be colonizing the shrine of Akurukamui. Akurukamui, for those of you who don't know, is a Japanese system survey concluded. Kami, of some sort. We have encountered some sort of alien vessel in the Aza system. Yeah. Expect that to be a scientific ship. Yep. So let's research those aliens so we get more influence. That is exactly as I expected. Civilization somewhere down here. Toad Asteroid. For some reason, someone has towed an asteroid into a stable orbit around Zunu 3. Massive engine sections and braking thrusters can still be found on the surface, though they have long since been rendered inoperable. Whoever did this also mined the asteroid for minerals, but these operations were seemingly abandoned shortly after they began. Plus three engineering research. Okay, you're done. I'm moving you on there. You're done. Let's do that gigantic skeleton research. I would have been happy if I found... Ship upgrades applied. Thank you. would have been happy if I found that... Uh, one of those uh, cruisers lying around. Zunur, you're done. Let's move you up there A then. A new world of opportunities awaits. System survey concluded. Through our surveys of habitable, habitable worlds, our biologists have collected a vast amount of data on alien life forms. Many of our older theories on the development of life have been disproved. Our scientific community has had to build new models from scratch. Our most interesting findings are being displayed at the newly dedicated Museum of Exobiology on Cathedral of the Kraken. The public is enthralled, and many donations have come in to aid in the continued search of strange life forms. That ends the Habitable World Survey event chain and gives us 500 society research and 488 energy credits. You're done as well. Move you on. Clough Fias. Clough Fias. Where? Sooner. Okay, that's the space bone of the hunter. I don't think you can do that. No matter how much you might want to. Construction 
Construction completed. Moving on to Chrysius. System survey concluded. On Lilan, I found an atmospheric anomaly. Atmospheric readings from Mug 6 do not match simulated projections. Research that. We've also completed the research of afterburners. These powerful thrusters provide additional combat speed, but consume a great deal of power. Okay, let's get... I wish it would tell us how we gain from planets. have absolutely no mineral income from planets whatsoever, except for these uh, here, and those do not have any colonists working currently. So we do not need the geothermal fracking yet, nor do we need the powered exoskeletons, which means that I think we'll go with the standardized corvette patterns, or maybe the fusion missiles, not sure here. Let's go with the fusion missiles. Okay, let's do this. The special project has concluded. Can't do that. You really can't do that. Move there. Special project completed. After continued studies of the massive skeletal remains found on Aroara 1B. Science Officer Prongs has concluded that the creature served as some kind of organic starship. Much smaller bones from at least three separate species were found within the larger skeleton, and we assume these came from members of the crew. For unknown reasons, this organic starship suffered catastrophic damage and crash-landed on our RR1B. While we cannot begin to understand the biological engineering necessary to grow a starship like this, the study of these bones alone has substantially advanced our knowledge. Three physics and no, three society and three engineering research uh, added to the moon and 200 experience for prongs. We've also found volatile moats on Glaf Pius 2A. That's not a bad thing. Be a bit careful with our empire sprawl though. Can get a new tradition. Let's take colonization fever. Hopefully, that applies to the shrine of uh, Akaro Rakumi. Swirling shadows. Immense rag ragged planes of shadow drift across Mug Six's face. They are cast not by clouds, but by sheets of organic material drifting through the upper layers of the atmosphere, hinged, or rather jointed, to allow for a small degree of articulation. Science officer Al Nilana is as, a, is as yet unwilling to say whether these things are flora or fauna, what possible purpose, if any, their elaborate shadow casting might serve. Plus three society research modifier added. Okay, you're done there, move on. We have detected an anomaly. On the barren plains. A cursory scan of the planet's surface reveals a weak signal pulsing into the darkness of space. Let's research that. An alien nation is hailing us. We have established communications with the Sidron Animus. That sounds like a mechanized civilization. We get 48 influence. Rogue servitors. Interesting. Well, they're not exactly our friends. You know, there's moss growing on you. Those soulless constructs do not stay in stand in our way. Sounds like an insult though. Holy Director Caledon greets you, Sidrons. All the way over there. 
They're suspicious of us, so they closed the border. It's to be expected. Another archaeological site. Construction completed. Can you go back in here? Please build the mining stations. We are being hailed. We have detected an anomaly. Prongs found a tomb world. Unusual readings suggest there may be more to this desolate world than meets the eye. The Padamian Contact now wants to form an aggress a non-aggression pact. Not an aggression pact. I wonder if that means that they have reopened the border. I'm going to agree to that. System survey concluded. Let's have a look here. They have closed their borders, but we have a non-aggression pact, so we should be very near point where they will reopen the border, I think. We have a science ship available down here. Just looking around here. Construction completed. Good. Now go down here and build a mining station. You can also sell off some food. Holy Director Caledon has leveled up. What is his... Uh... Oh, he doesn't have... Hmm. I wonder if he will remain the Director then. Greetings, Patron Caledon. We have recently been forced to scrap most of our technical equipment due to a major malfunction. Would the materials and scrap be of any use to you by any chance? We will repair it for you. I want that uh, influence. Where is that? Oh, did we just get it? Interesting. Primordial soup. Nestled in sheltered pockets around sands. What's going on now? Why is there so many things blinking? Okay. Nestled in sheltered pockets around sand, one's surface is a rich sludge of simple organic compounds that our researchers believe could be a hotbed for a abiogenesis, abiogenesis, spontaneous formation of organic life from lifeless matter. Sand One has an unusually thick atmosphere for a barren world, which could make it hospitable for simple life forms. Although this presents a unique opportunity to study what could be the early stages of the origin of life, it would be best to set our expectations low, as it may still be millions of years before life evolved naturally on Sand One, if at all. What's the deal with all of these? I didn't want. Would you stop tracking? Okay. We have found Zro. That will be useful for us because that is a psionic thing. Okay, that was just annoying. There, I managed to click that by accident. System survey concluded. We have surveyed Shifibri. 
And also on Ilana found unusual energy readings that was emanating from the moon. Limbo. Signal, or signal originates from the remains of an antenna-like structure. Exploratory probes were dispatched from the SATF Kothunagua to the surface to investigate the matter more closely. What science officer L. Ryder found was a cavernous vault that, while easily pried open, was evidently the last safe house and refuge of some long-dead race of aliens. While reasonably technologically advanced, it seems they never reached for the stars and perished to some planet-wide natural disaster. The vault is immense, housing thousands upon thousands of black boxes, boxes that, the K that the CTF Kthunagua has determined to be data storage devices. A special project has been prepared to decode their contents. Situation log has been updated. We found an ancient shipyard drifting above Sand 3A. An ancient orbital shipyard drifts in silence above this world. It has suffered significant battle damage and entire sections of the facility are missing. Let's research that. And I think that we are well over time, so this is a good place to end the episode. So, uh... We met a few new civilizations. My, you guys expanded quickly when I found you. So, it's uh, interesting to see what will happen now. Will we reach that Gaia planet before they do? Who knows? Anyways, thank you so much for joining me, and I will see you all in the next episode.